We'll, uh, we'll hop off of that one. Let's dive into uh, a little more of this uh, COVID-19 stuff. Now, we don't, we don't like to spend a whole lot of time on it, but um, there's a coronavirus cluster that is slowing construction at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Now, this became a, a huge story online. Uh, it started with just a few people, right? And it was, you know, whatever. This, this whole thing popped on Monday, and then on Monday it was like four people. And they went through, they've been going through all the proper protocols, all this kind of mess, and now that we've gotten to Wednesday, there's more than 10 people that have tested positive, and people around it think that the number is insanely higher. So there's fear that there's going to be a ton more positive tests on the site. So the issue becomes, at what point, you know, and I've heard that they've been having some of the same problems in Vegas where they're working on the big um, Allegiant Air Stadium. At what point, like, can you possibly just not worry about this construction stuff until it's safer to go back? Like, I understand going through all the proper protocols, all that kind of mess, but, I mean, you were working around people all the time in construction. It's just tough to, to stop something like that, right? Especially with a big, big team that's working on a gigantic project. But these facilities, I mean, as long as you got the field built... We're not going to have fans in the stands, right? At least not a hundred thousand. So I don't, I I don't mean, know about that. Uh, you you think we're going to have? Uh, well, okay, we did talk about this a little bit the last couple of days, didn't we? Like you yeah. you think NFL might just say, "Have at it, whoever wants to come the, in." I think the NFL is going to open it up. There was there was a report from a dude on Twitter today. I have no idea the validity of it, but he says the uh, athletic director. From Ohio State says he believes that they can get at least twenty to thirty thousand. Oh yeah, people that's, in that's their state. yeah a real story. Yeah, CBS Sports uh, uh, reported oh, that. So you know, I'm 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 I mean I don't know. You know, I, I think I think we're gonna go. I really do think we're gonna go forward. And we're just gonna try this thing out. the The problem is, is how is it weird that there are tons of people in other industries that are working alongside one another, but in the construction world, in these two places. It's getting really bad. That's that, see, that's, that's the where weird it thing. doesn't make any sense to me. I, do you think it has anything to do with testing, like the availability of tests? No, because I don't think the, I'm going to tell you this: these people in the construction world aren't going and getting tested unless they're sick. Yeah, no, that's true. That, that's I. Those are I work with those people. Okay. Yeah. That they're not just. Oh, I wonder if I got it. Let me go get tested to see if I can help the numbers, kind of folks. That they go to work. And they don't not work until they don't feel to they. And, and this is the problem with those type of people. Also, they're hardworking folks. They don't take days off. Yeah, they're so just gonna work. They're not it. feeling great. They're bringing their ass in. This is not one of those situations where you know I got it and I don't have any symptoms. They could easily have symptoms, and they're still going to work because yeah. that's who they are. And and I know that that's a selfish thing. I know that that's not what we want from the people in the world right now, but you're not convincing the people that know how to do these jobs to be different than how they've been their entire life. They don't know any other way about it. Just pull themselves up by bootstraps kind of guys. And so, so that's how it's going to spread. It's just going to keep, yeah. keep doing it. And I, mean, I, don't, that's, that's, I, I just remember. don't know why these places are enigmas because those same people going to work, they're also the ones for their families going to the grocery store because mom and kids are yeah. at home isolate. I think this, like I, I'm, we try and, and I'm, I'm guilty of this as anybody. Uh, we try and look at like a broader picture and then try and specify it. I mean, sometimes in a situation like it may just be the luck of the draw. We might've just had one guy that caught it that gave it to everybody else and it just happened to blow up. I find up. it very weird, too. Now, I don't know what these people are working on in Alabama, but it's a stadium construction expansion. jobs are not people right on top of one another. That's just no, not how no. construction's done. I mean, it is a place of massive social distancing. Unless it's a road crew done by a government company where you got 19 people standing around holding each other's dicks and three guys working, then every other job in the construction business, it, they, you don't have to be told to social distance. Those people aren't working around one another. Nobody's yeah. touching anybody. You're four feet away from me, five feet away from me holding a pole. Yeah. Oh, 100%. What they're doing in, in Tuscaloosa is 
Uh, they're limiting or, or bringing back the number of seats. I think it's coming from 101,000 back down to like 96, that something like that. And they're building like some massive VIP area for the boosters and they're, you know, all that kind of mess. It's, they're, they're putting in more video screens. They're putting, you know, whatever. It's just making it fancy, you know, whatever. Uh, it, it's not anything that's super important, but they want to have it done by football season. So it is what it is. Uh, let me jump into the comments real quick. Joseph said, isn't the NCAA changing its policy on allowing other schools to know of the crimes or the reasons for expulsions and violent crimes against other students, even if it's settled outside of court? Uh, yes, that was changed five, six years ago. Um, Those are NCAA rules, though. This yeah. happened before the kid got into NCAA, so. Yeah, absolutely. I don't I don't know that those apply here. So, uh, Big Ed said, go Tigers. Um, just wanted Appreciate to toss that it. in for you. Hey, Sook. <laughs> uh, Matt said, are they making the Saban Shrine bigger? Uh, yes. Yes, they are, as a matter of fact. Uh, Joseph said, I work for a pharmaceutical company, and they are not in a hurry to have people back in the office. Take that as a recommendation. Yeah, I, I mean, I work for a university. It's the same thing. So we're all just we're all just waiting to see what happens. Uh, Lane Step Gaming said, I understand working on the stadium is important, but uh, with this COVID-19 outbreak, like delay it at least after this is over, even if it's during the season or next off season. And that's that's kind of what I was getting at. But Oh yeah, I don't I don't I don't think the actual construction is important by any stretch. Dude. I'm just telling you about the people that are if you're hired to do the job, they're gonna show up and do the job. hundred percent. Like if you don't you, tell them to not come to work, you, you have to there. tell them to not come to work because they're coming. Yeah. Uh, McKinnon said, since we're only covering a few small topics, care to weigh in on the new info coming out about the uh, DAC? Nope, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> because I hadn't gotten to dig into it, and I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff. So uh, Matt said, a lot of places are implementing temperature screenings. You uh, show a fever, you're sent home, everyone around you is tested. Yeah, I don't think they're doing that on construction sites in Alabama. I think that's the problem. Um, nope. At some places we'll do it, but no, not there. I don't know. Uh, Michael said, hell, even if they are sick, they're not getting tested. My dad was in construction his whole life. If you don't work, you don't get paid. That's their mentality. Look, I, had, I worked at a warehouse when my daughter was born 14 years, well, almost 15 years ago. Uh, it didn't matter if I was sick or not. Like, my paycheck depended on me being there. There were no sick days. There's no sick leave. There's no nope. vacation, no nothing. It is you get paid for what you work. I mean, I was 22 years old. Like, I had to have money. You know, if if, I, if the girl I was with didn't have a job, like we were screwed if I didn't go to work. So I get it. Um, Matt said they were uh, they were sharing the whiskey bottle. Eh, I mean, maybe. I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it in Tuscaloosa. Um, Can Corona live in whiskey? <laughs> man, I really hope not. <laughs> Matt said it's uh, it's a better time to do the work, less people out to knock out the construction. Plus, these guys cannot many times afford to miss work. Yeah, exactly what we're talking about. Uh, McKinnon said, that's my girl, Sook. And McKinnon said, fair enough. Uh, McKinnon, I promise if you come back tomorrow, we will talk about Dak Prescott. I've got it written down. We will discuss it. So, but I am solo dadding today, so I ain't got time. <laughs> but we'll get into it, I promise. 